I bought this six core CPU for $20. This is the Ryzen 5 1600. That is right. There is a different version of this CPU that came out recently that is honestly kind of slightly better than this one, but this is the original Ryzen 5 from what was it like 2017 that came out in April. So this is a pretty old CPU, almost near a decade old by now. Maybe it is. Who knows? Uh, I didn't do the math, but the thing with this here, I want to answer here today. Well, this $20 CPU I got off Facebook marketplace actually worked because you guys did not know you get this off ebay for less than like 30 dollars and of course there's a bunch of vendors right now because with ryzen releasing their new what was it recent cpu series they dropped like a ton of them so a lot of people are actually upgrading right now to the newer ones which is like the ryzen 5000 or even like the ryzen 3000 stuff like that so yeah these have flooded the market so the question here on the answer today can i build a pc with it can i game with it and how would it look like with uh, some modern day equipment and will it actually run so that's the question we're gonna be answering here today so let's get into it Before we get into the benchmarks with the Ryzen 1600, you need to know a few things about it. First of all, this is a six core 12 thread CPU with a base clock of 3.2 gigahertz and a boost clock of 3.6 gigahertz. Now, it does also have a TDP of 65 and this is based on the Zen architecture. Now, the newer CPU that came out in 2019 was based on the Zen Plus architecture, but besides that though, they have the same core count and thread count. So they'll be pretty good for multitask applications, but I don't know how to do in a modern standing modern standing modern situation here today that's what we're going to test out so let's get into it for a test bench we're using the ryzen cpu of course with actually a 2060 now i don't have access to a 3000 series gpu from nvidia or 4000 series so i won't be able to test it with that however this should be just as good enough to test with any hardware because honestly getting those gpus has been really tough but i guess we'll try this for example here yo nvidia and amd you guys want to send me some gpus for test benching very much appreciated uh, I don't expect you guys to hear this message in the first place. So yeah, we'll shoot our shot boys. Besides the point though, I also have some test benches. We're doing multiple games here. Now keep in mind, I did also use these test benches for my PC build coming up later on my $600 PC build video. So if you don't wanna miss out on that video, get subscribed. But for right now though, let's test out the games. So $20 for this Ryzen CPU is honestly a pretty good spend. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the best $20 I've spent in such a long time. Like, keep in mind that the Fortnite and also Apex Legends, we use the best settings possible for FPS wise. I'm a professional, looks good, but you can tell right there, the FPS was pretty good. We were averaging over 100 FPS. Uh, Fortnite was around like 88 to 90. And then of course for Rust, we use the default settings, which in itself looks just gorgeous just straight up gorgeous and there's nothing nothing else more to be said about it now keep in mind i did hold off some benchmarks because i did test some other games but i'm actually going to have them included in my 600 pc build video so if you don't want to miss out on that video get subscribed because once we hit 2,000 subscribers i will post that video and we're going to go over a few more games in that video as well plus a complete build with this processor the gpu and leland lee case that covered a while back so yeah if you don't want to miss out on that get subscribed and i'll tell you i'll see you guys for another video tech grant out.